Hello everyone. Here we are again, another online opening. I'd like to welcome Kate Nielsen. Cheers, Kate. Thank this is it. This much. is the, the big night. So yes, that's it. Thank welcome to Pearl Noon. Thank you. And this is Kate Nielsen's solo show called Inside Outside, a beautiful collection of interior paintings and landscapes. Now we're all dressed up again with no one here. We're on our own. <laughs> But the gallery is open regular hours. It's just for our online, or for the openings, we have to, to apply with, uh, abide by social distancing rules, and um, we would not be able to do that with a big physical event. So I'm going to start our little discussion by asking a little bit about your background. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you are a brilliant artist. You didn't just pop up from nowhere. <laughs> so um, where, where did you get your inspiration? I think I know your, your husband's an artist, you're an artist, That's your right. mum was an artist. Yes, my mum was an artist, or is an artist I should say, and an art teacher, ex-art teacher. And my husband is also an artist, we met at art school. Um, and we actually went to Hornsby TAFE together and the National Art School together. Um, but we were probably a bit more in competition with each other rather than <laughs> anything else. But we, um, but yes, that's where I get my my inspiration, I guess, from from Mum and Matt. <laughs> and and at school, were, I mean, we've already established that we both went to the same school. We did. We both went to Cheltenham Girls High School. We did. Many years apart, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but did, were you inspired at school? Did you love? Oh them? yes, definitely. In fact, my high school art teacher, Mrs. Leapins, was very influential on my art practice. She was brilliant, and I loved her very much. And she just really opened the art world up for me from there. Plus, of course, my mum was very um, helpful during my um, high school years with my art practice. I did three in art. I don't even know if they do that anymore. But um, so yeah, so it definitely, definitely started in high school. So your practice is based around um, practice, and particularly this exhibition about around two important themes interiors mm -hmm. and landscapes mm -hmm. and I have to say they are breathtaking we have already sold um, quite a lot of your work before the shows even opened tell us a little bit about those two particular themes interiors landscapes well I have been painting I've always been interested in both and in my high school years and then my tape years which were immediately after high school and sort of in through to my national art school years I was painting interiors but for the last say five years I've been mainly painting landscapes but for this show I wanted to expand on that and I painted a little one over there called Morning and it was so um, successful and I think Robin you told me it was also very successful. I, I'm just I, going to butt in here <laughs> because that painting I probably could have sold a dozen times yes. over. We've had so many requests to actually buy that painting. Yes. And it sold after the very first time I exposed it. Definitely. And and I knew it was successful. I felt mm. it when I painted it. And that was the catalyst for all these other landscapes. Uh, sorry, interiors. And I have to say, I am on fire with them. I'm loving painting that. And particularly that indoor-outdoor when you've got the landscape out the window a lot of the time. And there are very important spaces to me. All of them have a particular reason why I painted them. Okay, so let's talk about the interiors. Uh -huh. So, how? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think there are several houses here, am I there, right? There I know are. one very important person at yes. uh, Sibylla Court, one of yes. these for house. Could so you expand on I'll start house? with Sibylla's house yep. then. Um, so I'm friends with her sister and I, I think Nikki Court is a very talented photographer and she was taking some amazing photos of Sibylla's, her sister's house and I just thought, my gosh, I have to see this house, I have to paint it, I oh, love it. Beautiful. And it's interesting because normally my interiors come from um, more of a memory, like all the other houses are from my childhood actually or, or from people I've known for a long time. Um, but Sibylla's house really captured my attention because of the heavy patterns and, and the colours and the way she has it set up. I mean, she's an interior designer, she's, so she knows what she's doing. And it showed, and I was so inspired by it that I quickly texted Nikki and Nikki said, sure, she won't mind if we go down there. And she was lovely and I went to her house and it was just amazing. So I was extremely inspired by, by her mm -hmm. house. And I painted, I think, the most... 
of one house. I think of her mm. house. This is my favourite over here. Yes. It reminds me of my house because I have a, a checked floor. Oh, but wow. you told me this is hand painted. This yes. Floor. That's yes. Amazing. I absolutely it is. love it. And I loved the black wall. Mm. I mean, who so thinks to paint mm. their wall black? But it, it worked it's so well. Absolutely stunning. Now that's not my only favourite though. There's another house, I believe it's your mum and dad's house. That that's lovely pink, correct. pink painting, the yes, Daphne and Orange. Yeah. Um, and the big red one. And there's a few. Oh, this is actually my um, parents' kitchen. The view from oh. that kitchen window. And there's so that's their house. They live in Chelsea. They live in Chelsea. Yeah, that's that's correct. must be a beautiful house. It is, it's lovely. My father built it. and. Oh. Um, I got married there. Oh, I've, really? I've lived my whole life in that house. I was born, not actually there, I was born in Hornsby Hospital, but oh, I've grown up my whole so life you there. Said, oh, oh, wow. And I've moved around, of course, but I now live around the corner from them and I'm there all the time with my kids. <laughs> and so your dad, is he an artist as well? He's, just, he's, a, he, he's um, a very creative man yeah. and he's, he called himself an artist in the 60s. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I mean, I was an artist in the 60s. Exactly. But he's a builder and yeah. he's a very practical man but very creative and practical yeah. so um, definitely the creativity comes from both sides oh, of the family and also my grand, my father my mother's father was at the National Arts School and he actually taught at the National Arts School for a while oh so. wow you really do have a pedigree then yes right. <laughs> well um, there's another lovely house over there that's another one in, in Glee yes this is her, uh, my friend Di Thornton um, she has an amazing place in the middle of Glee perfect mm -hmm. location beautiful outlook beautiful house and I was there the other day with my children and the poor thing um, was a bit scarred by the experience <laughs> <laughs> but I managed to take your children are at that age <laughs> <laughs> they're busy but um, but yeah, but I mean, I've known Di for a long, long time and her house is just beautiful. And it's the same as, um, there's some paintings of Paula's house and Paula, Di and I, we're all colleagues and mm -hmm. we have been for, gosh, 13 years now. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's where the attachment comes for, for these mm. paintings. All right, well, let's quickly move on to the landscapes. Uh -huh. These are stunning. Now, your use of colour and I guess they're abstracted landscapes yes. and to me, that back wall over there is just probably my favourite wall, but then I look at this one behind us here and I think, oh my gosh, they're just really beautiful. Oh, and there you. have been so many compliments, and I think I posted today on our Instagram page a, a lovely quote from mm -hmm. um, a, a, a lady that I think she's the president of one of the Sydney Art Societies, and she said how your landscapes are simply beautiful and that all of your paintings, the interiors and the landscapes, really brought out that Australian ness, oh, uh, which so I think nice. was such a compliment. Oh, it's You're looking, huge looking compliment. out of the window and you see something that's obviously an Australian bush scene rather than just a blur yeah, or something. Any kind of bush scene, yeah. 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 So tell us about these landscapes. Well, most of these ones are from Parsley Bay at Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a, an incredibly special little spot there. I've forgotten the name of the headland up there, but you look down on Parsley Bay and you can look down both sides and it's just incredible. And there's that real feeling for me of that connection to place. And I guess that's, why I think I can paint it because you know I just I, I just love the way the trees you know scatter the water and all mm. those views looking down through things mm. really mm. and that's another important part of your practice isn't it that sense of place definitely uh, in, definitely I mean that's why I painted my parents place so much because I mean it's I just you know that place on mm. the back of it's my home. hand and it's mm. home and it, mm. it has always felt like home um, and yeah, so definitely a sense of place is... Well, I think with the landscapes, I th I'm fairly sure people do feel as if they do feel that sense of place and, and it feels like home. They're obviously Australian and yet they're very abstracted as well. And um, if, you know, that, I'm not sure of the name of the big one in the middle, I can't remember, but it That's really... That's past the bay again. Yeah. View of the bay? View of the bay? I think I'm it not is. Sure, but it's a stunning painting. Oh, thank you very much. So, so Congratulations, this Thank has you. to be one of the most exciting exhibitions we've had here oh. and obviously it is because the number of catalogues that we've sent out, you know, supersedes any we've ever sent out before. So. Wow. Um, huge congratulations. Oh, thank it's you. Uh, already a success and we haven't opened yet. So let's, um, yes, now just before we finish yes. though, we must tell everyone that all of these, um, this, this 
discussion will be online um, now, it goes online tonight, and um, you'll be able to see the whole exhibition with the catalogue, and there's even a cart there, if you really see something you have to have, you can, you can actually purchase it online, or you can, you can contact the gallery, and we'll be open regular hours uh, right through, unless we get closed down again. Yes. So, um, <laughs> cheers to that. Congratulations. Thank you very much, it's been Robin. Thank wonderful. you. Wonderful. Welcome. Thank you. And um, <laughs> thank you, Casey, for filming. Thank you so much.